everyone welcome back to our channel we're so sorry we didn't have a five weekly favorites last week yeah um we just had crazy busy weeks but we are back um and we've a lot of favorites this week yeah kind of combination of like the past two weeks because we missed last week so first up is a tv show favorite and it is the flight attendant which is on hbo max we were really excited for the show for a long time we love kaylee cuoco mm -hmm. and um it's like her show like her production company produces it i believe with greg berlanti and we love greg berlanti shows like arrow and the flash and mm -hmm. all those shows um and then um basically like she bought the rights to this book years ago and now her production company is doing it with like i think warner brothers or hbo max i don't really know how it works but it was highly anticipated and it did not disappoint. We are so impressed with this show. I think that the way it's produced and yeah. directed is really interesting. Yeah. Or just the whole concept. I yeah. Guess, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so like the premise is that she's a flight attendant, Kaylee Cuoco. Um, and none of this is like spoiling it, but she has like a drinking problem and she basically um, ends up sleeping with one of the passengers and she wakes up the next morning and he's been murdered. And so it's kind of like her trying to relive that night because um, as I said, she has, she's an alcoholic. So she like drank to oblivion and she can't remember um, anything from that night. Um, and so it's, it goes into detail on like her flashbacks from that night and then um it also kind of touches on like her childhood trauma and kind mm -hmm. of like why she currently is the way she is and it just really i don't know it's like a really good juxtaposition juxtaposition also between like the murder and like her trying to piece together that night the trauma but then they also kind of like lighten the show with like a lot of comedy i feel mm -hmm. but like dark humor yeah it's dry like, humor I yeah guess. yeah um but yeah there are moments when you laugh um, but like Carly said, I think I like following her story. Like mm -hmm. obviously a lot of addicts, um, have suffered trauma in their life. Mm -hmm. So it's like, she's kind of realizing that she is, has a problem because of the trauma, but that she's suppressing that keeps popping up as she's like anxiously trying to solve this mystery of who murdered this man that she slept with. So, um, we're, we, we're only on episode, what, four? Did we watch four or five? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's one more out that we needed to watch probably today. Um, but one really interesting part of it is that while she's trying to solve it and like piece together that night, um, she revisits Alex and her memory. Alex is the man that died. And so he'll kind of like guide her and be so that she can help. Like he helps her to remember what happened. Yeah. So I like that too. Which she's actually in the show. Yeah. Which we obviously have never read the book and I don't know if the book kind of has these like parallel like worlds almost. I'm sure it does. Or if that was just like <clears throat> something they decided to do artistically for the show, but it was a really creative. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is just really unique. I don't yeah. think I've ever watched a show like it and the acting is really great. Um, and like we said, it has depth. Like you kind of like because of like exploring her trauma it's currently and her childhood. Mm -hmm. So it's, there's just a lot going on and it's great. Yeah. Um, okay, we have two nail polish favorites as of late. Um, the first one is At Last by Lights Lacquer. It's this gorgeous, deep, almost like teal blue. I'm wearing out my nails right now. It's Dark colors are so hard for me because I'm so bad at hitting my nails. And then when you go to clean them up with like a Q-tip, I feel like it spreads the color even further. Mm -hmm. So I'm really bad at wearing dark nail polish, so don't look too close. But the color is absolutely beautiful. This is part of their um, fall collection, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. And then this is Away Game by Loud Lacquer. Like this is this R shade. I feel like, like a yeah. gorgeous like terracotta nude color. So beautiful. I love them both. I feel like both of these can be taken from fall to winter winter um I, I just wear whatever polish I want to I don't really think of mm -hmm. it as like fall or winter polish but we love nail polish so yeah glad to have these in our collection okay next up is a skincare favorite that this just launched but um first sent this to us a few weeks ago so we've been using it while I've been using it for a few weeks and they only sent us one so I took it and put it in my bathroom but it's the Verst Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum and it has sea buckhorn extract and camellia oil um, and it's a dual phase so sorry I just shook it um, but the top is oil and the base is water so you shake it to combine um, and then they sort of emulsify and then you drop three drops into your hand and mix it together and I just like pat it on my face. I've been using this every single day during the daytime and sometimes even at night as like my last layer and I love this. I think it is such a good idea. Number one, I was really excited because I like sea buck 
corn thorn oil or extract um i used a good molecules oil for a long time that had that in there and i just really like it i think it's really lightweight but nourishing um but the whole product itself if you don't like oils like on a daily basis i feel like you would love this because mm -hmm. because of the dual phase and because of like the thinner water phase um or water-based phase i feel like it makes the whole product so much thinner and like lightweight and sure it does feel a little oily but barely like i feel like anyone would like this because it's nourishing enough that dry skin it like really helps as that first layer to like add some extra moisture or the last layer to like lock everything in but if you have oily skin it's just not too heavy for an oil so i think it's a really unique product and we were really excited when we read like the home marketing yeah sheet. i love the name too mm -hmm. um and it didn't disappoint like same as the show <laughs> uh so this is slowly becoming one of my favorite first products and i'm really excited to keep using it yeah they've been releasing really good stuff i know and it's really cute too Oh, and we recently found this website where we check our products for like acne, um, Comedid. comedogenic um, ingredients in skincare. And I checked this and there's none in there. And we'll link that site down below if you guys And it's know. not, that site, I don't want to, like, we're not experts. It's not end-all be-all. But we've just noticed if something is making us break out or we think it is, we check on that site. And if it does contain some of those ingredients, like, you discontinue use. But there is something, like, Great Barrier Relief had some ingredients in it. But that doesn't make me break mm -hmm. out. So, obviously, it's not for every product, every ingredient. It's just a helpful tool. Yeah. Okay. Next up, I posted this on Instagram, but this is a jewelry case that we both got from Target. So it was only, so it's only $20, but we got it for like $14 because mm -hmm. it was on sale, which is such a steal. I was using like an acrylic jewelry organizer and it was very large and just took up a lot of space. I really condensed my jewelry. I only kept pieces that I feel like will last and I wear, you know? Um, so I didn't need that much space. So yeah, I don't have a lot of jewelry at all. Yeah, but it, I love all the compartments. Like, it yeah. holds all my rings, and then I can keep other rings over here, earrings. I keep a necklace up here. And then below, um, you just, like, pull these little ribbons on the side to get the bottom layer. What do you have in your bottom layer? I just have a cleaning cloth. Oh, really? Yeah. That's all the jewelry you, jewelry you have? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, see, so cleaning cloth and then empty bag. Well, I had, an, like, a divider from my previous jewelry organizer so i just put some more necklaces down here but you can see how big this is you can fit so much and i put here. the jewelry cleaning cloth i have which is really that helpful that is a good idea mm -hmm. yeah so i love this i feel like it does not take up that much space it looks really nice i love like the cream interior the black outside i feel like it matches any decor we and were just impressed with the quality for the price yeah. i think the only thing is the closure isn't the highest quality but like i can look past it for how Me cheap too. it is i feel like the actual like weight of it itself is really nice and the tray is like one of the nicer trays that yeah. i've had too yeah really nice okay and then this is last last but not least is our trader joe's find this is the trader joe's a trio of almonds and the three almonds are caramel coffee almonds sesame honey almonds and roasted and salted almonds and we bought quite a few like nut products we also them. put them on instagram mm -hmm. they're in our trader joe's highlight if you're interested mm -hmm. and this one was just our favorite we really love these and like each flavor is really unique besides the normal roasted yeah, i don't insulted. really eat the roasted and salted um, to be honest it's just like a nice little snack and we just keep reaching for them over like any of the other snacks we bought so we wanted to mention them because they're just really tasty. Thank you guys so much for watching our weekly favorites. We hope you guys have a great weekend. We hope you're getting ready for a safe Christmas. We're excited. I feel like having our tree in the mm -hmm. living room is just making everyone much happier. Mm -hmm.